Hi guys. So this is going to be a video all about my decks for the summertime. Um, as you guys know, we're like literally just around the corner from summer. Summer is not my favorite season, but um, I do find that the decks that I like to work with in the summertime tend to look a certain way. <laughs> so I thought that would be kind of like a fun video to um, put together for you guys. So I have a pile of tarot decks. I have a pile of oracle decks in front of me. Um, let's start with the tarot because I think I have more oracle than I do tarot. So for the summer season, um, I tend to gravitate more towards decks that are either really glittery or shiny, um, metallic type decks, um, or I, I gravitate towards decks that are watery in nature, which I just realized I forgot one, but it's okay. Um, watery in nature or super colorful. Um, so that's kind of like the theme you're going to see with the decks I chose. The first one is the Elemental Tarot. Um, this one is a oldie but goodie. <laughs> um, the Elemental Tarot is created by the same people who created the Moon Oracle as well as the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. This deck is super colorful and it looks so pretty in pictures. Um, so I believe I have the first edition copy. Um, and like I said, really bright in nature. Okay, they talk about the elements um, and just the colors, the, 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 the artwork. Everything is just bright and really hap happy and like upbeat. Okay, so I feel like this is a really good deck to pull out for the summer. Um, I could just see it taking glorious pictures <laughs> outdoors, um, but it just radiates like sun energy to me. So... That's the Elemental Tarot. I bought this one used off of um, a reader on f Facebook. They sent me the deck for a very generous, very, very generous price. And um, it's, I believe there's like two or three editions. I'm not quite sure though. But this one is out of print. So that's the Elemental Tarot. Um... Next is the Ethereal Visions Tarot. This one you guys have seen me use a couple times in my readings. One reason why I chose this one is because it has the gold foil highlights in the cards. So that to me, anything gold, anything like really pretty like that, screams summer season to me. I just, I love decks like this. So I love the way it looks. I love how it reflects when you're doing readings. Um, I just think that it looks really pretty in pictures and also when you're <laughs> reading for people I've done I've read for people in person with this deck and they're always so like into the gold foil So it's just it's just a really cool deck. It's really refreshing. It's simple um, Which is another reason why I like this one. Um, the artwork is really simple not too much craziness going on It's really easy to work with so no, Those are the backs not really a fan of the back, so. <laughs> you can get this one off of Amazon. Um, I also chose, okay, so I'm gonna use, show you guys the Rider Waits after, but I also picked out the Harmonious Tarot for the summer. This deck um, I bought used off of an, another reader on Instagram. And actually, it was gifted to me. I didn't buy it. They gifted it to me. Um, but recently, I went ahead and I modified the deck. So the deck itself had really large white borders, um, which I didn't, I wasn't a fan of. So I modified it and it is much smaller. It's now like a pocket size deck as opposed to like traditional standard size. Um, so I cut off the borders. I wrote with a Sharpie pen, like the number associated to the card so I can you know, tell it apart. And now you just have this beautiful floral picture. Um, it has a, a dainty, you know, a dainty border now, but it's just like that floral design. I love this deck. It photographs really well. It's beautiful. There's so much detail. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those decks that you have to see it in person to love it. So I felt like this is a really cool 
um, summery deck with the florals and it's kind of like a spring deck too but for some reason something about it just makes me feel like it's it's one of those decks you could pull out in the summertime so that's the harmonious tarot really really love it and I'm so happy I modified it I was nervous to modify it but I'm glad I did <laughs> It came out really nice. Okay, so the last of the tarot, I told you I didn't have that much tarot to show you guys. The last of the tarot decks that I pulled are Rider Waite inspired or their Rider Waite decks. Um, so the first one is the Golden Universal. Um, I've had this one for quite some time. As you can see just by the box, it has the gold foil. This deck is so summer, I don't even know. Like, it just screams summer to me. So... The card backs are like a nice gold pattern. And every single card itself has a very beautiful gold foil to the background. And it just shimmers. It shimmers in the light. It's beautiful. I really like how the borders are black because I feel like it makes the cards themselves stand out. See that? This is the Golden Universal. Actually, I think I had this one in order too. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, sweet. Let me see if I could show you guys. Some of my decks I put in order. Like when I'm bored, I'll take them out and I'll put them in order. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do that. <laughs> okay. Look at the fool. See what I mean? I don't know. I just, I like um, gold stuff. It's so pretty. This one is still available on Amazon. If you guys love Rider Waite, I totally recommend the Golden Universal. And it, the cardstock is like somewhat thin, so it shuffles really nicely. Totally love it. Um, another one that I got is the, I guess this is called the holographic tarot. It was like one that I ordered. It was from China. <laughs> um, but I like the box. It's kind of cool. It's the holographic tarot. The only thing is, is the, the cards are small. Like the borders are huge and the cards are small and they're like this like rectangular shape. Not really my fave, but I love the holographic part because you I haven't seen a tarot deck like that. So, oh, this one's also in order. I love when I do that. <laughs> so it's really cool. It's just like you get, it's just like a different feel to the tarot. Um, so if you can get past like the small cards and like the weird shape that they are, it's a fun one to work with. But the holographicness of it is just super cool. It's like, you don't see that. See? <laughs> You don't see that. So I bought this one on eBay. I think it was like six bucks or something. It was super cheap. It's going up now. I've been seeing them on eBay for like 20 something dollars. So I was able to buy it at a super cheap price. Um, and it shipped all the way from China. So it took a while to get here. But <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, the holographic tarot. You can find it on eBay. And I think Amazon too. Um, another one is the Trip and Wait Tarot. This is like one of my newer decks. It's so fun. <laughs> the Trip and Wait has so much color and life to it. Um, it's like a, a, a blast from the 70s, right? So all the cards have like just this funky 70s vibe to it. And they're so fun. They're so fun. So, and they're colorful. Um, so I think, oh my God, look at this high priestess. I really think that this is going to be a fun one to use in my client readings. Um, I just, <laughs> how can you not laugh? I mean, come on. <laughs> so this, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's a, it's, it's independently made. So you got to Google trip and wait, and then you'll find it like, Freaking love it. The strength card is a giant sunflower. Freaking love that. There's the hermit. 
Look at the moon. This one was one of my faves. The moon. And then you have the sun. <laughs> and look at this one. This one's trippy. It's like the Ace of Pentacles. So if you're looking for a fun uh, Rider Waite clone, the Trip and Waite is definitely one. Look at he's surrounded by dolphins. Um, the Trip and Waite is definitely one you guys should pick up. This is going to be a fun one to use <laughs> in the summertime. Okay. And last but not least, my beloved Illuminated Tarot. This is by Carol Hertzer. You have to buy hers. Her decks, you have to buy them from her website. Um, and you can't find them anywhere else. Just her website. They're a little bit pricey, though, I will say. <laughs> I bought the pocket size, or I think this is the small size, but it's like a pocket size. But the Illuminated Tarot is basically you have different colors. It's like a huge color scheme. It's so pretty. And I chose this one from um, one of the summer decks. Whoops. It's really laminated too. So it, they like get all over the place. Um, I chose this one as one of my summer decks because of the colors. Um, like I said, I really like to use bright, really bright cards in the summertime. I just think that it just enhances the whole experience. So yeah. Oops. I just think the only downside about this deck is that it's so laminated. Not really a fan of the gloss, but hey, it's a beautiful deck, so can't complain. <laughs> it's very similar to the Trip and Weight. I guess the Trip and Weight would be a more like, I mean, it's not similar to the Trip and Weight because this doesn't have like 70s vibe to it, but it does have the colors. Um, but... I guess if you're looking for something similar to this and you don't want to pay the same amount of money because these decks are expensive, you could um, go for a trip and wait. Oh, in my box, it's signed. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay. So that's the Illuminated Tarot. And it comes in these cute little bags. Freaking love these. Oh, I love her decks. Okay. I wish I could, I wish I could buy more, but... Sometimes I just can't see myself spending that kind of money for a deck. They're just so expensive. Um, okay, so let's talk about the Oracle cards. So the Oracle decks I pulled for summer. Um, let's start with the Radiant Oracle of the Radiant Sun. This is my first edition copy. You can buy the second edition um, off of Amazon right now for like a fraction of the price that you will find the first edition on eBay. <laughs> um same this is by the same creator as the elemental tarot that i just showed you guys so the artwork like i said simple and colorful and i just i totally vibe with this deck i love using it intuitively um but it has a lot of astrology related um it's, it's basically like an astrology related deck but i read with it intuitively um, but I find like the little suns that are in the cards, I just, it just screams summer to me. So yeah, <laughs> I love these decks. This one was like, I wanted this one so bad. It was on my wish list forever and I finally got it and I was like, oh, <laughs> and then shortly after I bought it, cause I did buy it for, you know, a pretty penny not as much as they are showing up on eBay, but I did spend a good amount. Um, after I bought it, then I, um, that was when I found out that the second edition was, it was going to be reprinted. And so I ordered, I pre-ordered a copy on Amazon and it was only like $25. So, but I'm happy though. I'm happy I have both. Like there's nothing like having a first edition deck. Um, okay. Notes. From the Universe on Abundance. This deck does not get enough love. I don't see many people using it. Um, I bought my copy at the Barnes & Noble. It's a beautiful deck. It's gilded and this silver. Um, the cards are landscapes. And then you have like these beautiful positive um, messages on the backs. But the landscape images are so refreshing. 
They're like beautiful cards to focus on in meditation. Um, so I like to sometimes use these in my readings for clients. If I'm giving them a meditative, like a, a homework assignment on meditation, um, sometimes I'll ask them to focus on the card. So it's just like, I, this deck doesn't get enough enough um, love. It's so pretty. And then like the little sun accents here, just that that's why I, I picked it for summer because it just feels summery to me. It's outdoors, you know, and the summertime is like the best time to go outside and, you know, get some fresh air. <laughs> so that is the notes, oops, the notes from the universe on abundance. And I believe you could still find this one. Um, I haven't seen it pop up at Barnes and Noble, but I bought this a couple years ago, but I know it's still on Amazon and stuff. So you can find it there. Next, we have the Native Spirit Oracle. You guys have seen this one many times. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, I like to pull cards from this um, for a personal, like, personal journal session. Um, but I pulled this deck for summer season because it reminds me of, like, you're having, like, this intimate campfire with people, that, like, close friends. And you're just talking about stories and, like, sharing your life sharing your life with people and that's what I feel like when I'm reading from the the guidebook with this deck it's just so like spiritually touching um so it just it, this deck reminds me of like a warm campfire so yeah that's why I pulled this one and also the cards are very colorful they're beautiful so yeah that's the native spirit oracle and you can still find this one online um, I highly recommend it, especially if you like to journal and you're looking for like, oops, you're looking for a deck that you can enhance your spiritual journey with. This is definitely the one. Okay. Crystal Angels. This is a, a really pretty deck. I don't use it enough, but I started to pull it out more um, lately with my readings. The card backs are really pretty. They're similar to the Angel Answers Oracle that I was using earlier. In, in, a, in a client reading, sorry. And then the cards themselves talk about a certain crystal. And then it gives you like, you know, a little, just like a little message at the bottom. They're kind of like angel-y. <laughs> They're really angel-y. So if you're not like, if you don't resonate with the angels, you may not like this deck. Um, I'm like, I'm 50-50 with the angels. I don't like to work with them so much as other people do, but I do um, acknowledge them. Um, and I do find that I like to use this deck because of the crystals and it's so pretty. Like the cards are pretty. The artwork is beautiful. It's really like if this deck had a touch of glitter on it, which I kind of want to go through and put like glitter around the borders, it would be even more prettier. <laughs> actually might do that um but I find that you know with because of the crystals it's just a beautiful deck just really pretty so I find this one to be a one that I will be pulling for in the summertime and you can find it on Amazon I believe um oh this one just fell out so can you guys guess what is in my mermaid bag? <laughs> I love this mermaid bag. I bought this one off of Baba Studios a few years back. It's so pretty. But I house my mermaid oracle. My oracle of mermaids. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, my throat gets th dry when I talk a lot. <laughs> and I was taking a break from doing reading, so I'm like, <sighs> where is my water? I thought I had it. Oh, it's right here. Duh. Oh my God. Let me drink some water. You know, like when you get dry mouth from talking too much. <laughs> so the Oracle of Mermaids, um, the card's super, super pretty. And it's mermaids. And anytime I think of summer, I think of the ocean. So mermaids are like a must for my summer cards. Um, I highly recommend this deck if you love mermaids, if you love the ocean, if you're looking for an oracle deck that just will make you think. It's another one of those where I really, really recommend using the guidebook with the cards. Um, so yeah, the Oracle of Mermaids is beautiful. 
And I actually, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I, I put like, <laughs> this is what I was talking about with the crystal angels. I put glitter on my cards because I wanted to have the mermaid shimmer. So I put like glitter accents on the tail and stuff I use. I just use like glitter, clear glitter nail polish. <laughs> I am not afraid to modify my decks. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for a mermaid deck or an ocean related deck or just something for the summer, the Oracle of Mermaids, it's available on Amazon still. And I say, I tell you guys that they're available still because um, sometimes I do show like my out of print decks and I know it sucks to be like in love with a deck you see on, online and then you find out that it's not available um, anymore. And then when you go on eBay to look for it, it's like fucking $200. Like I know that feeling. So <laughs> I try to like, I try to not do that so much, um, even though I do love my out of print decks. Um, the next one is the it's in this gorgeous holographic bag um this is the color deck this is the only color deck that i own i used to have another one but i actually rehomed it to somebody um but you only really need one color deck so i did a modification on the cards because they were fucking huge um so i recut them <laughs> But basically, it is a color, and then there's a phrase. Super simple. These are fun to pull in addition to a tarot reading. I love the colors. They're bright, and it's, it takes up the entire card. So there's no borders. There's nothing else to, like, divert your attention. It's just strictly the color. So I love to pull these in addition to readings. I like to do rainbow readings at times. Um, I, I just, I feel I find the color decks are so good for the summer season. Um, so this is going to be making a huge appearance in my readings for sure. <laughs> but that's the color deck. Um, you could find that one. You have to go through the, um, the creator. I think she goes by the gypsy color, color gypsy something like that you have to look for her on on instagram and you'll find it but yeah really good card really good deck okay so my last two i have the mermaids and dolphins and magical creatures of the sea now this one reminds me of another um another deck that i have it's called the magical mermaids and dolphins oracle it was probably my first oracle deck i ever bought i forgot to pull it but that's another one that i would have included but sorry you guys i forgot um, the Mermaids and Dolphins and, and Magical Creatures of the Sea is a newer deck. I picked it up. I think I picked it up last year at Barnes & Noble. So it's so pretty. And it has mermaids and whales and dolphins and everything that I love. So the card backs are these cute little seashells. And you have these really cute ocean creatures. Mermaids, dolphins... And they're so cute. So it's like you're reading, and I love this one. <laughs> she has black hair like me. <laughs> um, you have, oh, this is a, the Kraken. So you have other creatures. It's not just mermaids. You have the whales, which I, this is, that was one reason why I wanted this deck too, because I love mermaids. Like I'm a Pisces, but I had a mermaid obsession since I was a little girl. But I love whales. Whales are my spirit animal. And, um, <laughs> the fact that this deck has all different kinds like this one's a sperm whale you have the right whale you have the blue whale there's gray whales in here they just make me so happy <laughs> so this is a fun one to pull oh we have the narwhal like you don't see those whales in decks you don't usually it's just like one whale you know so it's kind of cool i don't even know how to pronounce this the shard the Sharabdis and Sicula? Scylla? I don't know. It's cool. So if you're looking for an under the sea oracle deck, this is the one. This is the one. And it's called The Mermaids and Dolphins and Magical Creatures of the Sea. And you can find it online. I love this deck. I don't know. It just makes me so happy when I look at it. Okay. And lastly, lastly, this is the Oceanic Wild Oracle. It's a mermaid deck. 
It's a new one that I have. Um, I supported it on Kickstarter when it came out. And I love, okay, so the card backs are like scales and it's gilded. It's like a holographic gilding. And the cards are mermaids and you have like your little keyword. There's some unicorns in there, but they're so simple. I'm so in love. <laughs> so anything with mermaids. So if you're looking for like, if you're looking for a mermaid deck where the mermaids are more cartoony than the last two decks, this one and the, the magical, the mermaids and dolphins um, oracle that I just showed you, that's the deck you want to get. But if you're looking for more like realistic mermaids, the oracle of mermaids is the one you might want to get. <laughs> it's so fun. Look at intuition. transformation so yeah you guys will be seeing my mermaid decks way more in the summertime um and probably be coming out in the daily messages on my instagram so get ready for that especially for the month of june and july super excited so thank you guys thank you for watching my video <laughs> um hopefully i inspired you to pick up a deck or two if you have any questions about the ones that I showed, um, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. But these are basically the, t the, the tarot and oracle picks that I have for the summer season. That's the, Those are probably the decks you're going to see more and more of on my Instagram channel and this and that. Um, but yeah, have a beautiful rest of your day, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, my loves.